Hello guys, so today the Trix team finally released their new Samsung 2 and they want to make a short review of the most interesting features that this tool have inside. So let's run it. <coughs> And let's quickly move through the tabs. So we have main window. Here we can switch between different KPU. For example, Exynos, MediaTek, PXA. It's some old Samsung KPUs. Qualcomm and Unisoc. So the most interesting, of course, it's Exynos. Let's choose some Exynos model, for example. Let it be S25 Samsung. We have Odin tab. Here we can flash our phone in Odin mode. We have also Retin 4 tab. This uh, tab working via modern port. Also we have Unlock tab. It's uh, this Operations working via ADB, like unlock regional lock, direct unlock via root read codes, upload mode. It's same as in old Samsung tool. Here we can also make part search, repair, change CSC, enable NDB, ADB fault, uh, security patches. But the most interesting is Exynos tab. Here we can work via U port, we can read codes, make direct, un direct unlock, bootloader unlock, backups, it's same as partition manager, we can uh, read partitions, write partitions back, also we have security tab, this for quick read and write EFS, uh, change CC tab via U port, set kg state for example pre normal completed or some other race for peer option remove warnings this operation will remove uh, bootloader unlock warning after bootloader unlocking reset battery counter this will be useful when you change your battery repair boot repair sand factory reset also we can move to qualcomm tab Currently not all models listed, but soon will be added all Qualcomm phones list. Need just to wait for a few updates. So let's move to EDL tab. And here we can see that we can read info, write XML, read XML, make make unlock fair P, wipe data. Wipe security, repair sand, reset also battery counter, change HC, factory reset, and reboot phone from EDL mode. Also, you can find here another capo like Unisoc or MediaTek, and some models already listed, but currently working via BROM or SPDA BROM not added. It will be added in future updates very soon, just need to wait a couple. So currently we can work only via Qualcomm and Exynos KPU ports, SPDA, Spectrum and MediaTek will be added a little bit later. So, also we have settings tab, here you can change your account, uh, set backups folder, change your temp to another, like dark, for example, allow and disable repair my options, and some other features. So press like if you like this video, follow channel, and if somebody needs remote unlocks like user codes, your P, on network logs, you can always inbox me with number in video description.